Have you ever wondered what socioeconomic factors contribute to the transformation of fertile land into barren deserts, and how this process, known as desertification, can be mitigated? This is a complex issue that intertwines with the livelihoods of millions of people worldwide. Firstly, it's crucial to understand that desertification is the process of fertile land becoming arid, primarily observed in dry lands. This phenomenon is influenced by climate change and human activities, such as over-exploitation of soil. Regions most affected by this process include the Sahel in Africa, the Gobi Desert in Asia, and parts of South America. Overuse of the land is one of the major socio-economic contributors to desertification. This includes activities such as deforestation, overgrazing, and inappropriate agricultural practices. Deforestation, for instance, removes the tree cover that holds soil in place and retains moisture, leading to soil erosion and eventually desertification. Overgrazing by livestock removes vegetation and exposes the soil to erosion, further exacerbating the problem. Inappropriate agricultural practices, such as monoculture and overuse of chemical fertilizers, degrade the soil, making it more susceptible to desertification. Population growth and poverty are also significant factors. Rapid population growth increases the demand for food and other resources, leading to over-exploitation of the land. Poverty, on the other hand, forces people to overuse natural resources for survival, accelerating the process of desertification. Climate change, too, plays a significant role. Rising temperatures and erratic rainfall patterns can alter the natural balance of ecosystems, making them more prone to desertification. This is particularly evident in the Sahel region, where climate change and human activities have resulted in the loss of agricultural land and the shrinking of Lake Chad. So how can we mitigate the effects of desertification? Sustainable land management practices are key. These include reforestation, soil restoration, desert reclamation, and managed grazing. Reforestation, for instance, helps restore the natural balance of ecosystems, while soil restoration techniques can rejuvenate degraded soil. Desert reclamation involves converting desert land back into productive land, and managed grazing ensures livestock do not overgraze vegetation. In conclusion, desertification is a complex issue driven by various socioeconomic factors, including overuse of land, population growth, poverty, and climate change. However, through sustainable land management practices, we can mitigate its effects, ensuring a sustainable future for all. Remember, every grain of sand matters and every action counts. Together, we can make a difference.